Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. Let's solve this word problem on decimals. It says that every day Pete walks to a school which is 520 meters from his home. He also returns home from school on foot. Okay, which means he comes back walking. Now, how much does he walk all together while going to and coming back from school in a five-day week? Okay, so how much does he walk all together both ways, okay, in a five-day week? Round off your answer to the nearest kilometer. All right, now let's say that this is Pete's house. Okay, this is his house, which is H. And this is, suppose somewhere over here is his school. All right, so this is the school. And this is S. Now the house is 520 meters from the school. So this is 520 meters between the house and the school. He walks to his school, okay, so he goes 520 meters on foot to school and then he also comes back from school to his home on foot. So he covers another 520 meters. So altogether in one day he walks 520 meters going to school, okay, plus 520 meters coming back from school. So altogether, this is 520 meters plus 520 meters in one day. And we have to find out how much he walks in the whole week, which is five days long. All right, so if you were to draw a model for this, okay, let me erase all this. Now, if you were to draw a model for this, how you would draw that one is uh, something like this. This is 520 meters to school, okay? This is 520 meters to school, and this is 520 meters coming back from school, so coming back home. So this is another 520 meters, and this is only for one day, okay? So this is day one. Let's say this is day one. So on day one, he walks 520 meters plus 520 meters. Now let's fill in some color, okay? So 520 meters to school and 520 meters from school. So this is how much he walks on day one of the week. Okay, let's say maybe it's Monday. How about on Tuesday? Well, on Tuesday, he again walks the same amount of distance. So this is day two. This is day two, and on day two, he walks the same amount of distance as day one. Then on day three, again, he walks the same amount of distance. Day four, again, the same, and day five, again, the same. So this is day one, this is day two, this is day three, okay? This is day four, and this is day five. So all together in a five-day week, he walks all these blue blocks. Now, how many blue blocks are these? Well, there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So if one blue block, okay, if one blue block or one unit, one unit is equal to 520 meters, then 10 units, okay, because there are 10 blocks, 10 blue blocks, so then 10 units are equal to 520 times 10, all right, and all this is in meters. So 10 units are equal to 520 times 10 meters. And this is how much he walks in a five-day week altogether. So he walks 520 times 10, which means he walks 5,200 meters. 520 times 10 is 5,200. So he walks 5,200 meters in the whole five-day week. All right, now that's how much he walks. But what we have to do is we have to round off the answer to the nearest kilometer. Well, this is equal to 5,200 in meters, but how much is that equal to in kilometers? Well, 1,000 meters we know is equal to one kilometer, right? So if 1,000 meter is equal to one kilometer, then one meter is equal to one divided by 1,000, right? That many in kilometers. So if one meter is equal to one divided by 1,000 kilometers, then how much is 5,200 meters equal to? 5,200 meters is obviously equal to 5,200 divided by 1,000 and all this in kilometers. Well, when you divide a number by 1,000, you know that you have to shift its decimal point, which is over here, three places to the left. So the decimal point 
comes here after 5. So 5,200 meters is equal to, well, let me write that down over here, 5,200 meters is equal to 5.2 kilometers. All right, so this is how much 5,200 meters is equal to in kilometers. But what we have to do is we have to round off the answer, okay? Round off the answer to the nearest kilometer. Now, when you say round off the answer to the nearest kilometer, it means that we only care about the whole number kilometer part. We don't care about anything that follows after the decimal point, okay? Which means in this case, we don't care about this too. So we can drop this off. But before we drop it off, we need to find out if we should round up or round down. Now, since 2 is less than 5, this 5 over here stays unchanged, okay? So 5.2 when rounded off to the nearest kilometer is equal to or approximately equal to 5 kilometers. All right, so that's what uh, you get when you round up the answer to the nearest kilometer. Well, that's all about this word problem. I hope you understood and I hope that now you'll go and solve some other word problems as usual at www.homecampus.com.sg. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.